Hi everyone, Hayden from Little Green Alien. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this action figure of Buzz Lightyear that was released for Toy Story 4 by Mattel. Well, I decided to do a little project with him. What I did was I got another one and I decided to paint him gold. So what I did was I just got some gold spray paint and put a couple coats on the figure and then I put a couple clear coats of gloss on him to give him that shine and to protect the paint. So as you can see, I have a golden Buzz Lightyear now. And, you know, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. I think he turned out pretty well. Uh, I mean, whenever you put the gold paint over it, you can really see some of the details too. Because, like, if you look, if you look back here, you'll see, like, it's not painted on the actual Mattel figure, but it's just all gold. So it kind of brings out those details a little more. Because everything's the same color. So, you know, this figure really made me appreciate how detailed the Mattel figure actually is. Even while it's not really painted the greatest. But yeah, I'm just really happy with how this turned out. And I think it's pretty cool. And honestly, an easy project anybody could do. Really wasn't that hard to do. But I actually did do another one that's a little more impressive. So, let me show you that one. A lot of you probably know about this figure as well, the Toy Story 4 Talking Buzz Lightyear. Not the greatest thing in the world, which is honestly why I decided to use it for this project, because, you know, he doesn't have wings, he doesn't have a laser, he doesn't have a lot of electronics, so this is just an easy buzz to paint. But anyways, what I did with him was I made this, Golden Buzz Lightyear. And what I did was I actually kept the waist black because I like that. And honestly, it kind of resembles C-3PO, so it's pretty cool. There's a picture of C-3PO. See if you can see the resemblance. Uh, anyways, that uh, is my Golden Buzz Lightyear. And I also did the buttons black as well. And for those of you wondering... Let's go save some toys. Yes, he still does talk. So to make this, I actually took off all the stickers because honestly, I didn't really think the Golden Buzz Lightyear needed stickers. Uh, this one still has them. This Golden Buzz Lightyear was actually bought at Goodwill by my cousin for $1 and given to me. So I turned it into a custom project because, you know, he was kind of scuffed up and I needed to use some Goo Gone to remove a Goodwill price tag. But anyways, let me just show you... The rest of him, so here's the back. Like I said, he doesn't have wings. I know that there is still some green in the screw holes. I don't really know if I'll be able to figure out how to get rid of that, but maybe hopefully soon I will be able to figure out a good way to get rid of that. But, you know, I think he turned out pretty well. And I even painted the purple on the head uh, gold. Because I wanted this to be as gold as possible, but I still wanted Buzz to have his original head sculpt. Also, I matte coated the head, I semi-gloss coated the buttons, and I gloss coated the body. And of course, I just used the same gold spray paint that I used on the Mattel figure. Now, this golden spray paint, I actually got it at Walmart, so it really wasn't that bad. It was only like 3 or $4 dollars. And honestly, I think it just uh, made a really good custom. I'm really happy with how he turned out. And I think he turned out pretty well. And honestly, this is one reason why I am happy the Toy Story 4 Buzz does exist. Because he's definitely easier to do custom painting projects with. Like, I mean, the arms don't move. They're just kind of like stuck like this. And uh, there's no laser, no wings. So you don't have to paint any of that. And honestly, for this one, I just took the helmet off because, I mean, Buzz doesn't really wear his helmet in the movies. And honestly, I think it just would be better if he didn't have a helmet because, you know, it's Golden Buzz Lightyear. I want you to be able to see how I did that. And it just, I don't know, the helmet just really didn't make much sense to have on him. The slingshot maneuver is all we've got. All right, full speed ahead. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out well everyone as always thank you so much for watching i hope you liked my project i'm pretty happy with it i think it turned out well uh let me know if i should do more projects like this in the future um uh, i'm really happy with the outcome and you know i couldn't have really asked for it any differently so let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments 
And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a nice day.